Hey y'all, it's your girl Coco Kenzie. Let's 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 break down this last episode, y'all, cause y'all gonna hate me for real. Y'all might some of y'all that you know how you've ever just rooted for somebody, like you just root for them, and sometimes you try to overlook stuff, and you just say, no, well maybe that wasn't it. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. I'm really, really, really not feeling cachet, and a part of it is like. It's sad because a part of it, I just, just the attention seeking and don't get me wrong because I'm a loud, outspoken, free spirit, like just all over the place. So I get that part. But sometimes like in that, you know, you, as I've been watching or like I'm trying to go along with that because, it, you know, that's fun it, or it comes across fun and this, but I've been overlooking some of this bad behavior, girl. Now, y'all know, not a Cinco fan. Not really a Trina fan like that, but like I said last episode, um, they Kesha is kind of turning like Trina, who had kind of become like a villain, into a victim, and almost kind of make you like, well, you know, I kind of like Trina. Okay, she's all right, <laughs> but you did all of that. You, your friend, according to you and and her, what y'all say, your friend. You did all that to break them up because literally, let's be true, whether they really liked each other or not or whatever was going on, you know you need somebody for the show, typically, until somebody until you're voted off by America or whichever. You know, it's good to be coupled up and not be single to not risk even further being put off. So you broke up your friend's relationship just to try to get the attention that you felt like you deserved and validation to only choose Charlie in the end, but y'all, 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 Charlie had a backbone, Charlie had a backbone, no, but I was, I was like, yes, Charlie, thank you, real reactions, because, no, man, sir, you are, you are, I don't know if you're a good guy at all, but on this show, you have come across very direct, and I appreciate that, you have been everything that she says she wanted, and when she said that she hadn't, it's always been you, you know, you know, you was not telling the truth cash. Okay. You were not telling the truth. You were playing both sides of the field and what you did truly was worse than what Trina did. Like, and I, it's not even just to compare, but you dragged it on so much. And like Charlie said, if I've been in there five days, every single day I've had to hear about Cinco, 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 Cinco. We watch you pull this way, that way, this way, that way, this way. Every five seconds, you're pulling Cinco, you're pulling Charlie. You were playing the field, and which is completely fine, but giving the authenticity and the directness that everybody, especially she, was saying that she wanted and she deserved when she was in the same situation, when the roles were reversed, you did not like it. And you outright lying. I'm not here for it. I'm really not. And I personally hope. And y'all know I really genuinely have been team mm, cachet. But I hope that Charlie finds him somebody else. Now, maybe her and Trina can find somebody new, make a new connection. I know as we progress further in, that may be difficult. But no, like nobody wants to be the backup. And that's obviously what Charlie was. She was hedging her bets. And of course, I know we were all rooting for her to bring in Charlie because we wanted her, to, well, not all, but many of us were rooting for Charlie to come in and for him to help her see the light of day. Even if Cinco realized later that he wanted to be with her, and it's not because there's no problem in realizing that. However, you had multiple times to choose me, multiple, 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 multiple times, and you didn't choose me. You didn't choose me until all options were exhausted. And the thing is, even after Caché chose Charlie, you still were moving funny. Come on, like girl, like it, but it's just like you didn't. I don't. I don't know. I get y'all know my intel. I hate when people and so our intelligence. It's just mine. Like don't insult my intelligence. Like we see, and I can see me and Charlie are here on that. We see what's going on, okay? And so I'm just y'all. I'm so happy that Charlie had a backbone. And let me look at my notes because I just, it was a lot on that episode. <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot to unpack, y'all. But that bothered me so much. Um, 
let me see. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna just address the little because last year was such, such a bar with the little heart rate thing because they had some sexiness, but I feel like y'all, Olivia, I don't know. I know, like, I don't know why she's there sometimes. She move around a lot, but Olivia is she's just fun and refreshing. She is and continue saying Shannon's refreshing. Obviously, that situation with her and um Genevieve was squashed and settled. I like how they settled it. Um, but just as the show continues to go, I'm just so happy that they're there. Olivia and Shannon, I am here for y'all. Cashier girl, I'm gonna need you to get it together so I can be here for you. Trina, do something. Show me something, okay? We done saved you. Let's see. Now, speaking of being saved, y'all, I was so happy. And it's so crazy because obviously like my first inclination was like, okay, whoop, Cinco's going home, y'all. <laughs> but when it got down to Will, Jeremy, well, no, let me know. When they said Jeremy, of course, I'm not about Jeremy, but okay, fine. But when it came down to Jeremy and Cinco, I was like, mm, I really want Cinco to go home. But when they picked Jeremy, okay, I was like, Will, Cinco, and then um, Kira and Genevieve. Genevieve, Genevieve, yes. Um, and when they picked Trina, I was really surprised they picked Trina, but I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Okay. You think she deserves love? I totally got that piece. Like she was not necessarily, well, she was kind of given a fair shot. I mean, initially I saw it last night. It made so much sense, but now what I'm talking about, well, I just, I, she did not get a fair shot. Once she did, she, she did not move correctly in the situation with Cinco and Cash, but afterwards, you know, I, 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 she can't, she tried to redeem herself. So I'm going to give her that. I'm going to give her that. And then, since then, she has been in this little triangle, even upon removing herself. So she deserves a shot at love. So I thought that was very sweet to pick her. And again, sometimes when we, we don't see all the behind the scenes, but it seems like she's like, so I respect it and I'm with it. But y'all, I was like, I had never thought about it. Even I know, like, y'all know I'm not the biggest Will and Kira fan. But I never thought they were going to go home. I thought that America really, you know, was feeling them. Even with the whole flow thing. But I was like, they could go. They could go and I would be fine. And I actually would have been okay with Cinco staying. Because what I don't want to happen is that um, I wanted Cash to kind of be forced into truly making a decision and watching her actions stand behind her decision. As opposed to now with Cinco leaving, I feel like there is no other choice than Charlie, really. And she's going to try to force to make that work and convince him. And I just think it's bull and I'm not here for it. But we shall see. We shall see what's going to happen with that. And then Will, I really, it does bother me that, well, first of all, it bothers me that Kira just let the flow things so, go so fast. Like, and I get it. Like, but I get that it's a game and you gotta be tested and that, but because mm -mm. it's one thing to me, because and it's so crazy because like as you go along you get to look back and it's like now Josh to me was testing the waters and I felt like of course after you were because it was early on he was really kind of seeing you know where he felt but I felt like he was a little bit more out front with it. I mean, because I guess when you're doing it in somebody's face, like how much more out front can you be, even when you still are, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Well, you were full of crap. You were acting like it was nothing. You were acting like your head wasn't going to turn. You were acting like you weren't thinking about sending that girl home, okay? Like you're a lying. I'm, not, I, I'm telling you, it's the lying for me. It's the lying for me that I don't like. So Will could have went home and I would have been okay with it. But for Will and Kira afterwards, the whole, like, the whole, like, y'all think that the world is against you? Come on. Maybe it wasn't that deep. The whole premise was, who can find a real connection? Now, that goes against people's perceptions or what they think. If I see that you are lying to my friend, and then, that's, first of all, for Will to make it about Kira when you were obviously talking about yourself, like, let's just cut the bull, okay? But nonetheless, so... It's about the connection that people think that is genuine, that they can make. And if they feel as though you are lying to her, Kira, 
if Will is Will is lying to Kira and they know that her head is not going to turn to anybody else, then they just feel like, what's the point? We'd rather send her home than to go along with somebody else because, I mean, what what is just just what would be the point? You literally were just not on like you just weren't honest like you act like it because it's a difference between you saying you know i kind of felt a connection you were just completely bogus now but again it's not even that deep truly honestly it's not but it did get that deep when shannon brought all of philly up into your face and i know some of the girls when i hear for it i know kira herself wasn't here for it but i was all the way here for it, honey because he needed to be read and then some. I, and that was so good because I like, you know, because people have been playing it safe. Everybody's trying to put their best foot forward and their best face on. But Will showing a little bit of character. We're showing a little bit of who we are, okay? And when someone shows you who you are, you know what our girl Maya Angelou said, honey? She said, believe them, okay? Believe them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, we see who will is and it was just like no you were called out on your bull and to keep and because I, I hate it because I, I don't like to um put gender things on attitudes and things but because men are allowed to speak their mind too but you know i can't I, i'm gonna have to i don't want to see a man <laughs> going back and forth with a woman like that like because not over that like, you know, we could go back over something that really me, but no, you were full of it. Come on. Like, and even if you disagree, like, you know, Shannon, I just disagree with you. Like, you know, I, yeah, I'm not really feeling, but I, I bet Shannon was right. Like you are hedging your bets. You are really, you're just, you know, you're faking it with Karen. Everybody sees it. America sees it. The guys might not say it. I will think I'll try to start saying it. Y'all trying to villainize me, trying to act like I'm just a player. Then what's well, okay? And that, you know, and that was when it changed for me with Cinco. I was like, you know, Cinco, you right. <laughs> no, but seriously, so I'm just like, he was right because he is. Everybody's doing what they want to do, and then tries to come back and act like um, everything's okay. And I don't see why some people are picked like that's completely okay, and then others are picked apart. So he was right in regards to that. Excuse me for looking down. I just want to make sure I'm covering everything that was important to me. And um, yeah, those were big things for me. And so I'm excited to see how going for how Kira may address Shannon with the whole situation. If it, you know, like if it becomes like an uncomfortable environment, which obviously on some level it already is, but let's see how she reacts kind of let's see how will react and how the guys react to shannon to will reacting to shannon because i feel like right now this is where it's starting to get real we're not just in la la land we're not just pretending it's real emotions coming out and that's what i want to see i want to see authenticity i don't want to see everybody pretending like they're in love or pretending like we're all best friends be friendly i want y'all to get i love some of the friendships from years prior totally i'm all for it but at the same time i don't want false friendships necessarily i want to see really how you are how you feel and come on like will you see we're bored with you do something show your baby even if you're a jerk whatever then be that but own who you are if you're a cheater if you're a player be that if you are not feeling kira like that maybe she's a sweet girl but maybe she's not your girl your person so be it and that is what i say i will say what josh and shannon because initially i really thought they were hedging their bets and maybe initially they were but their connection does come across as genuine it comes across as real and they seem like two peas in a pot they seem like they're good for one another like they both say whatever even sometimes when they may be misspeaking or maybe speaking out of place but they are who they are and they seem to be truly okay with and the connection seems real and, and again we're talking about real within a certain realm we're real within the villa kira and will i do believe that kira's all into will but will we see you and some of the guys they won't outright say it but some of them are kind of hinted like you know because everybody gives and being polite but we're about to get into the mess y'all i'm here for it 
Let's continue. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to try to watch the Paramount Plus tonight, and I may do a review on that. But if not, either way, you're going to see me real soon because we got a lot of episodes to go. <laughs> and so I'm going to talk to you guys later. Again, it's your girl Coco Kenzie. If you have not, click the button. Click the button and subscribe, like, and mostly comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments, and I will talk to you guys later.